Hey guys, and welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today I'm going to record a uh, quick flip through video with you um, as quick as I possibly can because it is very hot in here and with the fans off. We're having a heat wave here in Southern California. Um, I'm in this Chic Sparrow pocket size Outlander. I, I haven't even checked. I should check whether they still sell this color. I bet you they don't. The color was called Wine when I bought this um, and it's the deluxe version with the pockets. Um, but I do, you know, recommend Chic Sparrow's products, whatever you end up getting. Um, but I do really like this Outlander leather. It's very, I don't know, it feels fancy. It's a little bit squishy. Good fun. Uh, the pen loop has my Pilot G2 in the 0.3, uh, 0.38 um, fine point, which I really like, especially since I tend to write small and I have a small planner. It works. Um, I've got an extra paper clip here see what's in this section. Oh, a little card. Yeah, there's not a lot of stuff that I keep in my pockets. Um, utility wise, I have a couple of water tracker stickers and a straight edge. And then this is just a piece of cardstock that was in with some of my pocket stuff when I was setting this up and I threw it in here. I was using it as a straight edge, but it's not great to use cardstock as a straight edge. It doesn't stay straight for long. Um, so it's just kind of looking nice there. Um, I'll just leave it until it gets messed up. So uh, this is I think this might be the first flip through I've done since I set this up uh, mid August. Um, so we'll get to see everything. It's been lived in for about a month or a little bit more now, I think, and uh, it's working out really well for me. Um, so let's take a look. This first uh, string, this first notebook, uh, I'm just using like old covers and stuff that I had from back when I used to be in a pocket pre 2018. Um, this is like forward planning stuff. So I've got little monthly set up. All of most of these inserts, um, the pre-printed ones are from my shop, GenshiPlans.com. Um, and I printed them at, I want to say 108%. This was like the pocket rings size. So that's why it's like, it has white space at the top and the bottom. Um, because I didn't really care enough to not format it that way. So it's fine. Um, uh, but that's how, that's why that is. Um, so I've got a little insert 64 month on one pages set up here for August, September through next January um, to give myself time in case I don't get my 2023 planning done in December because December is a busy month. Um, and then I've got a little bit of a future log here. Uh, so I'm keeping things mostly on the future log. This is from insert 54. Um, before moving it to the monthly, just because I, I wasn't going to do both. I was going to do my future planning on the monthlies because they're just month on one pages. But then I put in the future log, so I'm using the future log. This here, all folded up, um, is the school calendar for my daughter's school. So I'm not going to show that to you, but it's in here. I just folded it up so that it fits, and then I tipped it in. Um, this is the... Uh, Far future log insert. I don't remember the number of the insert. It's going to be in the 50s. Um, so this is for things that happen beyond 2022. So like I, I have a dentist appointment in a couple months. I'll you know set that as you do. So then this is insert 63 uh, for recurring tasks and basically last time done. So the last time I did certain different things that I want to do periodically every month or two or three. Um, then these are recurring tasks that are on a different kind of a schedule besides every month or two or three, if something has to happen every six weeks or whatever. Um, but mostly this is just a log of the last time some things were done to my car, which is also good to know because my husband, uh, will ask me, Hey, when was the last time I changed your oil? And I know I can tell him, um, this is here is a little bit of a mess. This is my, um, I'll, I'll just show you here. Um, content planning. So August, September is an actively in, I'm working in there today. Um, but here's what November, uh, October, November will look like December, January. This is the left hand page of insert 14, which is the dated monthlies. Um, so I, just, uh, printed out just that one side. I was able to format this myself cause they're my own inserts, but, um, if anyone is interested in getting like a traveler's notebook booklet printed of my inserts, like formatted like this, I it wouldn't have the gaps on the top and bottom. I would fix that if it was a product. But if people are interested in, in buying that, I would I would list it. I'm considering that. 
Uh, anyway, what I do is I take that straight edge and I put a line down the middle and I do YouTube on one side and Instagram on the other and just sort of keep track of um, upcoming posts so that I can check them off and make sure I get them done in time. Uh, library book log. Uh, we haven't been to the library in a while. So yeah, I, I can't make it to the kids story hour thing now that I'm back to work. So that uh, is basically why we haven't been in a while. I do like taking the kids, but our local one is only open during the week. And anyway, it's life is crazy with commutes now. Uh, this is just some stuff that I want to get for myself. Wish list. So, you know, if I ever, uh, then this one in the middle, uh, is birthdays and anniversaries. So it, you put the year that somebody was born or got married or whatever, and then you add it to the list. So like my daughter's birthday is coming up and I don't have to go, Oh, she's turning two this year and then remake the insert next year when she's turning three. Instead, it just says she was born in that's not right. She was not born in 2022. That is the future. She was born in 2020. So maybe I will have to remake this. Well, there you go. I found a mistake. Anyway, gift ideas for other people. And then the rest of this insert is meal planning. Um, because I just decided I would have enough meal plan inserts for, you know, however many I need. So this was like last week's or a couple of weeks ago. This is the one I'm currently working off. I don't keep it to a specific schedule. I just kind of, when we're down to not as much food, I'll plan a whole bunch of new meals and get food for it. So it's not like every single week I'm grocery shopping. Um, I grocery shop most weeks, but sometimes it'll be twice a week. Just depends. Uh, but we, I got a lot of stuff for meals this time. So for example, the first box I use for ingredients and the second box is for when it's cooked. And then the third box is for when the leftovers are done. And I didn't with this, but I can um, use these little circles to mark shelf stability. That's what I use it for. Um, so like this one would be, this was a, a freezer dump meal for the Instant Pot. So when I say shelf stability, I mean that like, it's not going to go bad in the fridge, right? Or on the, the counter. This is not going to go bad in the freezer as long as we have power. Um, we actually cooked it last night though. So anyway, it's you know, shelf stable. So basically I would want to prioritize things that have like a vegetable that's going to go bad, um, or a meat that's going to go bad, uh, unless it's in the freezer. And then of course, freezer things and defrosting is a whole deal, but I've got all of these meal plan, um, things, inserts filled in here and I have them clipped to the one that we are in currently. So these, uh, giant paper clips I got with, uh, from, uh, Marlene's plan to create who makes the frosted divider tabs for my ring planners that I really love. Um, so I got those last time I ordered ring dividers for my personal size pot, uh, ring planner. The next insert, this is not going to be a short video, is it? Next insert is from Zequins with the Z's from, I bought it on Amazon. I think it's a Korean company and it's like faux leather and it is so soft. I love how soft this is. It's got like a rounded spine, which is fun. And it's supposed to like lay flat. Um, it doesn't lay flat of its own book accord. And also um, possibly just because I'm trying to like get it to kind of lay flat so I can take an Instagram picture of it. Maybe I'm stressing it too much, but the, the glue is starting to sort of come up a little bit on the edge here. I'm just trying to be a little gentle with it, but it's fine. Um, oh, the sticker in the front has a couple of things that I need to get done every week. So like I'm working from home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So like I like to make my overnight oats on Wednesday for the whole week. I have to wash the diapers so that I don't have to wash them Thursday, Friday. I have to do the uniform laundry for my daughter so that she has uniforms for the rest of the week. So, um, and then trash day is Wednesday. So I have to put out the trash, you know, empty the trash cans. I'm trying to be better about emptying the the diaper pail once a week so that it doesn't get over full and over stinky. So I've just been doing really basic dailies. Um, as you see, I just sort of plop in a little bit of a highlighter and then just put a, a to-do list for the day. But I also have been doing weeklies. I've been doing this sort of split weekly format where I have the weekdays on the one side and the weekend on the other. I've been having a lot of fun with stickers from, um, what's to call it? Happy planners. They fit really well in here, surprisingly. Um, and so these ones are from like the garden, the gardening one. I haven't been sort of focusing on a color theme as much. I've been kind of jumping around and just having fun with whatever feels right. I think this is the one that I did a weekly plan with me video of, which I'll try to remember to link right here. 
Um, and I was using, yeah, some of these water trackers because I have to try to remind myself to stay really hydrated because I'm pumping breast milk and you make less. I, I tend to make less on Mondays because I get myself dehydrated over the weekend because I'm not on that schedule as much. Anyway, so I got to try to drink lots and lots of water, especially on a hot day like this. Uh, there we go. Fun little weekend sticker. This one was from Planner Kate. Um, so I've been just having fun with some stickers on the weekly and just a couple of tasks, a couple of like mostly events. Um, this one, I was feeling like I needed a space to sort of forward plan some tasks. So that's what this was. Kind of useful. Some dailies. This was a, oh, this was the day that I had off to get stuff done. Um, like I'm doing today actually. And so I made myself a little, um, you know, time ladder thing kind of like a little daily agenda. Today I'm actually using a sticky note for that from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, another weekly, this was last week. So the nice thing about having a sort of, sort of free form Bujo style where you are um, doing all your, your own layouts yourself with pen is that you can customize it. And so last week um, or last weekend was Labor Day weekend. And so I just gave myself a three day weekend here instead of trying to put the Monday on its own thing where it doesn't make sense for it to be. We went on a camping trip, so this is it. And I just kind of, after we got back, wrote out what we did a little bit just for some memory keeping. I didn't really use my planner while we were camping, but it was fun. Um, the, a couple little cute doodles from my daughter. She drew me a rainbow and I taped it in here. Dailies. This one's a Christmas tree. Yes, it, it's September. That's fine. Um, and then this is this week. Um, so because Monday was on the weekend last time, I just have Tuesday through Thursday here. And it's, it really does help me visually to see like, it's a shorter week. It's going to feel like you don't have enough time to get everything done. And we're still not unpacked. Um, but this is today where I'm filming this. Um, you're going to be seeing this next week. Um, so if you missed it, I'm going to be live streaming later today on Wednesday the 7th. Uh, stay tuned, got, turn on your bell notifications and stuff so that you will get notified next time I live stream. Um, if it goes well, if it went well last week, <laughs> then um, I might do that some more. But uh, I went ahead with an actual color theme this time. Um, just because I felt like it. I have to work on planning my daughter's birthday party. Like I mentioned, she's turning two. Um, this little sticker is from Be Cute, B-E-K-Y-O-O-T. I got it from Comic-Con. And then yesterday's daily. And there we go. So I've got a bunch of just dot grid in here. Um, I don't usually prefer a dot grid. I usually prefer a lined grid. Um, but this was the one that I got. Okay, then the next insert, uh, insert four or five, and both of these are um, piggybacked, I think that's the term, onto this one string because it just lays better. Um, but there is a, there is another string. There's a fourth string, but I, I'm not using it. Um, this is projects, sort of lists of projects. So if I need to know what I need to be doing, it's in here. So first we've got this 52 weeks log, insert 52. Um, this is a dated future log. This is basically where I keep track of like the focus project for the week. So um, I was focusing on getting camped, uh, packed for the camping trip the last couple of weeks. Now I have two weeks to plan this birthday party. So that's what's going there. After that, I can start thinking about other things. Um, a self-care bingo spread, which I should look at more often. Um, this is a running to-do list where things that don't have somewhere else to go. It's kind of a someday maybe list, but shorter term than that. I don't know if this is necessary or whatever. It's also where I keep sticky notes. Then um, these goal planning inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. I really like for smaller projects. Um, I'm using like this, this one right here. I have uh, some to-dos for my like content creation stuff and insert planning, insert designing. Um, but there's more of these later. So in the middle, it's not um, stapled so that I can take this out and replace it if it gets full. I have some sort of context lists, things I can do at home, things I can do when I'm away. And then, yeah, there's some more of these goal planning ones. So I have some stuff I need to, some clothes I need to get rid of, some stuff to do in the garden. And then um, I think I'm basically almost done with this. I just have to uh, hang some art in here. I was reorganizing my uh, desk and computer area. And so I'm probably going to be doing um, an office slash desk tour 
coming up as a video so stay tuned if you want to see that waiting on and honeydew lists and see someday maybe current craft projects um i added this one to the list so i could check it off i'm pathetic i never do these and i really really need to um then things to watch um i did watch some of these actually so i should probably fill them out um and then that's it for this one then this last final insert is an actual field notes insert this is the grid like lined grid like i said this is project pages so this is lists of projects and this one is project pages where i'm actually doing the planning or the you know project whatever so instead of having like an index with dated pages i just put a list of what's in here in order um so i can find it sort of this is uh, stuff for the girls are going to get their own room soon. This is stuff for the birthday party. As you can see, it has not all been planned, but I have some categories of things to plan. I'm working on it. I am working on it. Um, I was just taking some notes on um, an organization video I saw. This was, I tipped this in the Ferber method sleep training um, intervals just to kind of give me a thing to start with. And it really only took like two nights. Uh, after that, he didn't need a single check-in on this night. I can just, I think we basically have considered it pretty done. He's doing amazing. Um, he's starting to be able to hold in his own passy, so that's helpful. Um, and then this is a list of video ideas. If you have any, please let me know um, and I can add them to the list. This was, I was going to be doing some planning for the camping trip in here, but I ended up just doing it digitally. It made more sense. So, so never mind. And then that's it for right now but there's plenty of space for project planning and I really do need to do more sort of in here I feel like I when I have a bound journal I'm always like oh trying to conserve pages but I'm definitely not going to run out of pages anytime soon I think this this insert is going to get used up before this one does and that's fine too because with the travelers modular system like this you can just remove this insert and replace it and keep going. This one's got plenty of pages too. So this should last me a good while. Um, and I'll just sort of have a chance to reevaluate and redo um, around the end of the year, beginning of the next year. So there we go. That's the whole flip through. I'm going to go turn the fans back on. I hope you guys are staying cool wherever you are. Um, I think the weather's supposed to be hopefully cooler by the time this video is going live. Um, so that's good, hopefully. Anyway, it's, uh, it's fall soon. And I hope you guys are enjoying your back to school season. Everything's going well for you and settling into a routine. And uh, have a great productive day. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.